protests this evening in large cities across the country. Are Fox News calling them protests? You can see them in these four live shots that we have after the grand jury in Louisville, Kentucky, decided not to charge the police officers there with the death of Breonna Taylor. Based. One of the three detectives involved in this case was indicted on three counts of wanton endangerment, but that had to do with... Yeah, that was because he fucking mag dump his uh, gun into the neighboring apartment. And I guess to the BLM crowd, like, that's just police as an entity that mag dumped. It wasn't that an ish, uh, individual officer. Um... <laughs> It was the police that done did that, you know what I'm saying? The firing of his weapon into like 90 going north. apartment in the midst of the chaos that was ensuing at Taylor's apartment. In Louisville, yeah. about one hour from now, a country, a countywide, I should say, curfew will go into effect. And that is where Jeff Paul joins us tonight on the street there. Good evening, Jeff. <laughs> getting a little hectic here. Those mostly He's peaceful down. flames right there. Pretty much peaceful day of protest. Ah! <laughs> he said it. He said it. <laughs> here in downtown Louisville after a pretty much peaceful day of protest. has been set on fire. A pretty much peaceful day of protesting today. Let's hear that fucking shit again, dude. Fox News has gone left. Here in downtown Louisville after a pretty much peaceful day of protest, you can see a <laughs> pretty much peaceful. Pretty much peaceful garbage can on fire. It has been uh, set on fire out here with some things thrown in there. We've seen a few others set on fire. This is probably the largest one, but really the only... They're all super stoked for Instagram cred, dude. This is what's getting, dude, in certain circles. Imagine being in a circle where, like, burning garbage in your streets gets you clout. Uh, main sort of, if you want to call it property damage, that we have seen... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Mostly peaceful. Kablow! It was a mostly peaceful a firework explosion fire. Today, uh, that decision came down, and uh, after a few hours of people marching in the streets, uh, the police pushing <laughs> some of the people who were out here back. But uh, fuck you, Fox. And you can see there's a few Fuck you, Fox. Right now, Fuck you, Robert Murdoch. As always with fires, you never know what's in them. And Peaceful it's explosions through a garbage can, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh, somebody putting an incendiary into a garbage can on the street there, and it exploded uh, just a few feet away Fucking from where Jeff was coming the story. He's covered a lot of these stories uh, over the course of this summer. Um, and, you know, Jeff, you know, can you give me any sense of who, who is around you and how organized this group is? They're extremely organized. Look at that fucking... That rehab attendee, what is going on there? But now that you have an explosion and you have people out here singing Gerardo Taylor's name, um, Dude, I don't know. There was a truck that rolled up and handed out fucking weapons and shields. I don't know if they're organized. Yeah, they just have foundations like the, what is it, the prison, free prisoners group. Yeah, they just have 501c3 nonprofits that fund all of their endeavors and fund transport and rent the U-Haul and pay for fucking agitators that fucking rabble rouse these idiots into going to burn shit. Yeah, no, I don't know if they're fucking organized or not. Yeah, Derp. It's, it's hard to tell really how fuck Fox. Is right now, especially with uh, some of these fires that have been lit here. I don't think the people who are down here uh, to memorialize Brown and Taylor were uh, exactly involved in that sort of behavior. It's not what we saw today. Idiot. Uh, with the people who were passionately marching throughout the street. But nonetheless, when it gets dark, that's when you really start to see uh, some of the, this kind of behavior happening, and as we get closer to uh, that curfew, that 9 p.m. curfew, we might see some more of it. Martha? So it was the darkness that brought it out. Well, you know, <laughs> it was the darkness. Um, obviously, that is what we have seen, the implementation of curfews after dark to try to calm things down, and that is uh, still an hour away from 
kicking into effect. Um, what is the police presence there, Jeff, in terms of implementing that in an hour and any way of telling whether or not they're going to be able to do that? What Mostly expeditious from what I saw. Not, people will, co will yeah. cooperate. It's really hard to tell because when you walk down here, you have police on the perimeters. Like if you take a look over here, you can see there's some red and blue flashing lights. Just off comments the turned off, of course. Because if it wasn't, here. if comments weren't turned off, everybody would be in the comments like, yeah, mostly peaceful fucking fire, trash fire and explosion. Stop cars from coming down here. But if you take a look where most of these protests have started, this is Jefferson Square Park and these fires are burning now. I don't see one police officer in sight. That's not saying they're not in the area and they're not just letting that kind of burn out and fizzle out. But you get a little outside and you start getting closer to like the mayor's house. Some pussy ass wearing a fucking, yeah, face diaper. Good way of putting it. Would say some dumbass wishy washy ass shit like this. Like, oh, yeah, it's hard to tell. He would say some dumbass shit like that. Memorializing a fucking, like, what, deputy crack dealer. That's what BLM is, dude. They're just fucking some of the bigger buildings. low down really dirty. See the police presence. <coughs> Did they stop when I heard you on earlier today, Jeff, you were saying that there the protest, which we saw in the afternoon after the decision, was moving towards the mayor's house. Did that happen? Did they go down there? Was that all did that all go peacefully? Yeah, well, no. they marched for about three, three and a half miles, and we were right there with them. And once they got about a half a mile away from the mayor's house, uh, that's when police just sort of put their stakes in the ground and said you can't get any closer and the police then started pushing them back the majority of the protesters ended up moving back but if you uh kind of stayed back and you saw probably about a dozen people who ended up with uh, zip ties uh uh in their arms behind their back and they were uh taken off oh stop i'm about to coom <laughs> zip really ties tools i need my tools no, but uh, the idea of, do what he said, dozens of these wankers getting fucking zip-tied up to be probably released with slap on the wrist, but maybe, you know, maybe the funds will, what am I saying, the funds aren't going to run out, these bail funds, and uh, they'll be right back out on the streets, but maybe a handful of them will be demoralized when their fucking uh, mug shots get circulated, and please, people in the chat, people watching this, if you see mug shots of any Anquifa wankers, share them like the Dickens, because, again, they're not going to face, like, that brutal fucking punitive measures from our legal system, so what we can do is publicly shame them. I think that'll work. Since then, we really haven't seen At least somewhat. Else. Not Other that much. Fires down here, and the occasional person just kind of doing a burnout with uh, a motorcycle or something like that. And it's just remarkable how many cities uh, we have seen. It's like you almost get used to seeing fires in American cities, uh, and we've witnessed so much of it, and you've covered so much of it for us across the course of this summer. Um, thank you very much. Good to see you tonight, Jeff Ball. You thank bet. you. Yeah, dude. Fox News is left wing now. How do you like that? Do you ever think you'd live to see that? Holy crap, man.